Hi everyone, welcome to Yoga with Haini. I'm Haini and this week I'm going to take you through a sequence for strengthening and opening the legs. So you can expect quite a lot of standing poses where we'll get the legs and the feet moving. Let's get started. I have in detail videos of some of the poses that we do in this sequence and I'll add a link to those videos at the end of this video so you can check out them later if you want. For this sequence you don't need any props. So we have a prop free sequence, just have a mat or some kind of practice space for yourself. And we're going to start from standing. So first bring yourself into some kind of easy standing pose. You could have your legs closer together or a bit wider apart. Where do you feel stable? So that we could start with some breathing before we go into any further movements or poses. And take first a couple of slightly deeper, slightly slower breaths in and out. Allow your shoulders to soften, let your arms just hang down next to the sides. And then with your next inhalation, lengthen your arms up towards the ceiling and let your chest open, maybe even looking up towards the ceiling. With the next exhalation, bring the arms sideways down and close your chest round your neck, your upper back slightly. Same again as you inhale, lengthen arms up, let the chest, the ribs open. And then exhale, bring arms down and round the neck, round the upper back. Two more times. Inhalation lengthens up, opens the chest. And exhale, arms come down. Again, rounding the upper spine. One more time. Inhale, lengthen up. And then as you exhale, come all the way down into a full forward bend. So now continue rounding the whole spine. Bend your knees slightly as you come down into your forward bend. You could hold elbows in front of the legs. Let your head hang down. Take another breath in and out, opening the back side of the legs. And then release the hands and arms down and inhale, roll the back up once more. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling. And then exhale, just release the arms down. And you can roll the shoulders a bit here. And then come towards the top of the mat. So, so you have some space behind you. And we're going to come into some moving chairs and then we go into our longer flow for the legs. So now as you inhale reach arms in front and then up towards the ceiling. As you exhale bend the knees bring arms in front of you coming down into chair pose. So think about sending your bum slightly back tilting forward from the hips from the back. Same again, as you inhale, press down through the feet. You could open the chest and exhale, come down into your chair pose. Two more times. Inhalation, press down through the feet as you lift up, reach arms up and exhale, lower down into the chair. Let the arms come lower down. One more time, again, inhale, press down through the feet, lifting up, opening the chest, and exhale down into the chair. Then bring palms together in front of the chest. Take another breath or two in and out in your chair. Long line from head to the tail. And then from here, as you inhale, lift yourself up, reach arms up, and now lift your left foot off the mat and come balancing on the right leg, right foot. 
So the left knee is in front of you, reaching up through the back, through the head. And breathe here, grounding down through that right foot. So feel the right heel, the ball of the foot is down on the mat. One more breath. And then as you exhale, step your left foot far back, coming down into runner's lunge. And you can bring hands down. And now we keep the left knee off the mat. And here as well, long line from hip to the left heel. Leave your left hand or the fingertips on the mat and then inhale, twist out to the right side. Now you could either reach the right arm up or you could release the right arm behind the back. But keep lifting the left knee off the mat. Most of the weight is on the feet. So the left hand is almost so light that we could lift it off the mat. One more breath in and out. And then as you exhale, release the twist, bring hands down on the mat. And now as you inhale, swing the right leg up into the air behind you, into a three-legged dog, but keep your hips closed. So think about kicking back through that right heel, trying not to open the hips. So the right leg probably stays lower down. Take another breath in and out here, trying to keep the hips more level. Head can drop down. And then as you exhale, step the right foot back forward to the hands. And this time turn the left foot on the mat, coming into warrior two. We're going to inhale, lift the back up, open the arms. And as you come up into warrior two, you're very welcome to adjust the feet. So let your feet find a place where you feel the legs can be strong. You can press down through the feet. At the same time, imagine you're lifting up through the inner thighs into the spine. So whole core active. Another breath here in and out. And then we'll start to move again. Now, as you inhale, reach the right arm up, bring left arm behind the back, exhale into side bend, into reverse warrior. You could look down to the left foot. Inhale, lift yourself back up and now lean your right elbow on the right thigh and then exhale, reach the left arm over the head towards the top of the mat. And inhale, press down through the feet, lift yourself up. Now extend your both legs. And then again, reaching right arm up, left arm behind the back. Exhale into another side bend. So it's like that reverse warrior, but now both legs extended, still pressing down, grounding down through the feet. And then once more, Lift yourself back up, open the arms, exhale, bend the right knee. And now you could, again, lean your right elbow on the right thigh or lean the hand all the way down onto the mat, onto the floor. As you exhale, slowly lengthen that left arm over the head towards the top of the mat. And if the neck feels tense, you could look down to the mat. Breathe in and out, still most of the weight on the feet. And then as you exhale, slowly release both hands down to the mat. Turn the left heel up towards the ceiling. And as you inhale, swing the right leg up into the air. Now again, three-legged dog, and this time you could rotate the hips open. So opening both hips, pelvis turning a bit more out to the right side. And exhale, close the hips, step the right foot once more to the hands. And now with as your inhalation, start to lift your back up, reach arms, reach back up. And then you could again adjust your feet if needed. Now as you exhale, cactus the arms and bend both knees a bit further down. 
and then as you inhale, reach arms up, extending both legs. Same again. Exhale, cactus the arms, bend both knees. And inhale, lift up, reaching arms up. One more time. Exhale, bend the knees, cactus the arms. And then inhale, lift yourself up. And now as you exhale, bring palms together in front of the chest. And we have one more pose on this side, warrior three. So bend the right knee a bit more and then lift all the weight onto that right foot. Slowly start to lift the left leg up behind you. So finding our balance again on the right foot. The left leg lifting up behind us. You could open arms next to the sides if you want. Still breathing, take another breath or two in and out here. And then as you inhale, lift your back up, bring left knee towards the chest, reach arms up. We're back in the place where we started from. And then release the left foot, release the arms down. And take a couple of breaths in and out in your mountain pose. Just let the feet, the legs calm down. Let your breathing calm down. Well done, right leg. Before we do all that to the other side, step your legs wide apart and turn, maybe turn towards the long side of the mat. We'll do a full forward bend from here. So legs wider apart, inhale, reach both arms up, press down through the feet, and then exhale, come all the way down into full forward bend. And you could bend your knees more as you come down into forward bend. Allow your hip, your neck to release down. You might walk your hands, your fingertips a bit more between the legs. Make sure it's not too big stretch and make sure you can still keep your feet, your legs active. So the front of the leg stays active. This also helps to open the back side more. Another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, bend the knees more and start to roll the back up. Again, you can reach arms up, open the chest and exhale, release hands, release arms down and heel toe the feet back closer together. And then we're going to come into that longer flow on the other side. Now, you can either come back to the top of the mat or if, if you have your mat the same way I have, you can also change to the other end of the mat. But find that mountain pose. Take a couple of breaths in and out. So now left leg will be our standing front leg here. So when you're ready, slowly shift the weight onto your left foot and start to lift the right knee up in front of you, reaching arms up and lifting the back hip up and grounding down through the left foot. You can feel the heel and the ball of the foot spreading onto the mat. Take another breath in and out here. Hips stay about in the same level. And then as you exhale, step the right foot far back, coming down into that runner's lunge. So you can bring your hands down and now long line from right heel to the crown of the head. We'll leave the right hand or fingertips on the mat and then inhale, twist out to the left side. And again, you could reach left arm up or bring left arm behind the back. Breathe here a couple of times and like a neck could turn the other way. So you could look down to the mat if you want. 
And then as you exhale, slowly release the twist, bring both hands to the mat. And then as you inhale, swing the left leg up into the air behind you and coming into that more closed three-legged dog. So trying to keep the hips a bit more on the same level and think about kicking back through that left heel, hands and arms pressing down, hit can drop down. Another breath in and out. And then as you exhale, step the left foot back to the hands, coming into that warrior two. So now turn right foot on the mat and then inhale, lift the back up, open arms and again, you're very welcome to adjust the feet. Where do you feel strong on two feet? Where do you feel you can engage the legs? And again, lift that support all the way into your spine. Breathe in and out, soften tops of the shoulders. And then we'll move more. As you inhale, reach, lift arm up, bring right arm behind the back. Exhale to reverse warrior, still keeping the left knee bent. Opening the left side of the body. You could look down to the right foot. And then inhale, lift back up to center. And now lean your left elbow to left thigh. And then slowly reach the right arm towards the short end of the mat, whether it's the front or the back of your mat. Still keeping chest open. And inhale again, lift up. This time extend both legs and bring right arm behind the back once more, reaching up and over with a lift arm. So coming into that one more side bend and think about long line from your left foot to your left hand. Breathe. And inhale, lift the back up once more, tilt down towards the left leg, bending the left knee and maybe hand comes all the way down to the mat. From here, slowly lengthen the right arm again, over the head. And then you can look down to the mat. Again, most of the weight stays on the feet. So if the left hand is on the mat, it's just supporting. One more breath in and out. And then look down, start to bring your both hands to the mat. Turn the right heel up towards the ceiling and then press down through the hands and reach your left leg up into the air. Now again, we're going to open the hips a bit more. So now the left leg might go higher up Kind of turning pelvis a bit more to the left side of the mat. Head can still drop down. Breathe here. And then exhale, close the hips. And once more, step the left foot forward to the hands. And inhale, lift the back, lift the arms up. Coming into that one more lunge. And you can adjust the feet so you feel stable again here. And then exhale, cactus the arms, bend both knees. So the right knee coming closer to the mat. And inhale, lifting up. You can extend both legs. And exhale again, cactus the arms, bend the knees lower down. And inhale, lifting up. One more time with your own exhalation. Bend the knees, cactus the arms, let the chest open. And inhale, reaching up through the legs and through the arms. And then we we'll stay up. We're going to bring palms together in front of the chest. And we have that warrior three here. So now bend the left knee and slowly shift the weight on to the left foot. And then looking for the balance, lifting the right leg up behind us and let your back tilt forward, reaching the crown of the head and the right foot 
away from each other. And arms could be also next to your sides. Take another breath or two in and out. And then inhale, lift the back up. Bring the right knee towards the chest. Reach arms up. Again, coming back to where we started from. Breathe here in and out. And then release the feet. Release the arms down. And take a couple of breaths in your mountain pose. Let the breath Calm down. Good. And then from where you are, once more, inhale, lengthen arms up. Exhale, bend all the way down into full forward bend. And you could bend the knees. Maybe again, hold the elbows in front of the legs like a ragdoll pose, just let your back line open a bit, head can drop down. And then release the hands down to the mat. And now walk your hands and feet apart, a brief downward facing dog where you could now stretch the calves a bit. Press one heel down. Breathe in and out there. Then press the other heel down, so changing the feet the other way around. And then maybe gently press both heels down. They don't need to reach the mat, but just feel kind of weight going down through the heels. And exhale, bring your both knees down onto the mat. And then lean into child's pose. And you could leave the toes tucked under here. That might give a bit of a stretch for your toes, the soles of the feet. Lean the hip down. If the stretch in the toes is too much now, you can always release the toes. Do what feels best for you now. Take a few breaths in child's pose. And then with your next couple of breaths, slowly, slowly bring yourself up to sitting on the shins. And at this point, just check that you have some room behind you. If there is not enough room, come a bit further forward on the mat. We'll come into the hero pose and we're going to do it as a lifted variation. So from your seat, when you're sitting on the shins, on the feet, step hands behind the pelvis. You could either be just on the fingertips or bring the whole hand palm onto the mat. And this could be enough, so you don't have to lift up from here. This might be already a nice opening in the front of the legs. If you want to go further, inhale and exhale. Lift the pelvis slightly off the feet. So coming into a bit more active lift and opening through the front of the legs. You could let your hip drop back. But if that hurts in the neck, just keep your chin closer to the chest. Take another breath in and out. And then exhale, release the pelvis down. Walk hands back forward. And then lean onto one hip so you can come sitting down on the mat. Release the legs in front of you. And again, check that you have space behind you because now we're going to come lie down on the mat. Just slowly bring yourself down onto the back. Let the back shoulders, head come resting on the floor, on the mat. And then lift your legs to your feet up into the air. 
and just shake them a bit. A bit like kicking the air, just shaking the legs a bit, trying to loosen them a bit after all those standing poses. A few more breaths, just shaking, kicking the air. And then you could leave them just resting in the air for a few breaths. You could support the legs, have hands behind the knees, behind the thighs. And they don't need to be straight, they could be bent. But just the idea of getting feet up into the air for a few breaths. And then then the legs, let the feet come down to the mat. And then extend the legs all the way down onto the mat, onto the floor. And give yourself a moment in Shavasana pose. Just a moment resting. Feel that you don't need to now balance on the feet. Hands are free as well. And just give yourself a few slightly deeper, slightly slower breaths. Closing the practice. Then, if you want, you can stay resting here for longer. Or slowly roll down onto one side and bring yourself up into a seat. If you'd like to end your practice in a seat. Good. If it's part of your practice, you can bring palms together in front of the chest. And always as we come to the end of our practice, thank yourself for bringing your body, your breath, your mind onto the mat into your practice today. And I thank you very much for joining in. Namaste. Thank you. Good. I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you maybe feel something in the legs now. If you like the sequence, give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And also, if you know anyone who you think might enjoy this video, share it with them. And that would help the video, help the channel a lot. I would really appreciate it. And then oh, I'll see you on the next video. Bye.